YouTube, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and welcome to week six of my second pregnancy. Before I jump into week six, I want to ask everybody to please subscribe down below, wherever it may be. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my weekly pregnancy vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching my last video announcing our pregnancy. It's so fun to read and reply, hopefully, to everybody's comments. So thank you so much. Um, let's jump right into week six. Let's start with symptoms. Symptoms for myself. Um, just your typical pregnancy symptoms like my boobs are sore and I am exhausted. I am so tired. I remember being tired with my first pregnancy with Cade. He's our son, he is um, two, two years and four months, What? he's two. Um, I remember being tired with him, but like with your first pregnancy, you can nap whenever you wanna nap, but now not so much. I think I literally fell asleep playing with Cade on the floor the other day. Whoops. Um, and I will openly admit that he is watching a little bit more uh, TV than typical, but that's okay. Like I'm in survival mode and it, it'll, it'll, it won't last forever. Um, so exhausted, the nausea, um, morning, morning sickness. Um, it's, it's kind of bad in the morning. Like I'll wake up not feeling the greatest, um, but it is the worst at night in the evening. It starts at like five o'clock on which is like the worst timing because you're trying to do like dinner and bath and bed. And <laughs> so Teddy's been, you know, super helpful obviously with that. Um, so yeah, nause nauseous. I have vomited a couple of times, not every day, thankfully. Um, I'm, I have a feeling it might make get worse before it gets better <laughs> with the rest of the first trimester here. Um, but yeah, so not horrible. And it's funny because I just feel like this pregnancy hasn't really even sank in yet. Um, and I think it'll sink in after we get to see here, baby. I have an OB appointment at the end of the month on January 27th. Is that a Monday? Um, I have two appointments that day. It'll be a busy day. I'm, I'm bringing Kate to daycare because he's not gonna wanna be with me all morning. But I, yeah, I have an OB appointment. Um, hopefully we'll be able to see here, baby, on the ultrasound. Um, they'll do the dating measured little little bean at that time. Um, and then I have an endocrinologist appointment after that in the morning too. If you are new here or don't know, I have type one diabetes. So my pregnancy is automatically flagged as high risk. Um, and I'll have lots more appointments than your typical pregnancy. Um, lots more ultrasounds. I think with Kate, I ended up having 13 ultrasounds. Starting at 32 weeks, I will go in twice a week. Um, one with just regular OB, they do a B, or sorry, an NST, a non-stress test. So they hook you up to all the monitors, make sure baby's um, doing good in there. And then they also do um, an ultrasound, like the second appointment of the week. They'll do uh, an NST as well, and then a BPP, a biophysical profile, where they're looking for numerous things, you know, practice breathing. Um, they look at movements and tone and all that. Um, I'm not a doctor, so. Um, yeah, so my pregnancies are busy. At the beginning, it's kind of your typical um, appointments and all that. So looking forward to those appointments, and I think after seeing, hearing baby, things will start to kind of sink in more and kind of be more real. Um, what else? We, oh, you guys, we're finding out the gender soon, like three weeks. We are doing the early, the sneak peek blood gender test. Um, and I did decide to pay a little bit more money and go to a clinic. You can either do an at home kit where you poke your own finger, you fill this vial and send it in. Um, However, so it, it ends up, it tests the mother's blood for fetal DNA. And if there are any, if there's any male DNA within mom, um, the baby is a boy. If there are, if there is no male DNA tested, then baby is obviously a girl. Um, the issue that some people have with doing it at home, if you have any males in your home, even pets, um, which obviously my husband and my child, if they are like, if they contaminated the, your work surface 
and any male DNA gets into that sample, then you can get a false reading saying that baby's a boy. Um, so anyways, I paid, I am paying a little bit more money to do um, a clinical test. So obviously things are a lot more sterile there. They, I don't know how they do the blood draw. If they do your finger or like an actual blood draw. Um, so it's like 99.1% accurate. And so yes, that is on February 3rd, maybe something like that. It's like three weeks away and we're going to know the gender within like 24 or 48 hours. I think it's a girl. We'll see. I, um, obviously I would be happy either way. I kind of do want a boy. Um, but I, I would be thrilled with a girl too. We just, we have everything for a boy. <laughs> so we'd have to get a lot of stuff for a girl. Um, what else? We did tell Teddy's mom and Teddy's brother yesterday. We had Cade wear his little super brother shirt and they are obviously thrilled. It took his mom a little while to like, she was like, oh, super brother. Hey, Cade, you wanted to come do this? And Teddy's brother was like, did you read the shirt? She's like, yeah, it says super brother. Cade, come over here for a second. And I'm like, hello. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. Of course, I didn't get it on film. Um, so I'm looking forward to telling more family members and I'm kind of debating if we're going to do a small little like gender reveal party of sorts, just close family. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Should we do a gender thing? Should we do a baby shower? See, I don't know. If somebody threw a baby shower for me, like obviously like you not going to turn that down, but should I throw myself a baby shower? I don't know. With Cade, myself and my mom kind of put together our baby shower. Um, and I feel like that's getting more common, like putting together your own baby shower. I, I personally don't think it's taboo. So let me know down below. What do you think? What are your, what's your opinion on throwing yourself a party? I don't know. Um, I think that's it for week six. I might wrap this up. It's just gonna, you know, there's not much to tell so far. I'm not gonna show um, belly probably anytime soon. It's still just like flabby food baby from <laughs> my first pregnancy. Um, I, it was funny because the, a couple weeks ago before I found out that I was pregnant, I was all gung ho for joining the gym again and getting back on my um, healthy weight loss um, journey, I suppose you wanna call it. And then I found out that I was pregnant. Um, <laughs> So obviously like weight loss is not on my radar, but I think I am still going to be joining the gym and I want to stay more active this pregnancy. Um, I think it will help me with like labor and delivery. I really would like to have, with Kate I had a C-section, uh, but I would really love to have a VBAC, a vaginal birth after cesarean. And I think just if I'm more fit and active and healthy, that will definitely help me. Um, I just want to get Cade like definitely potty trained. I think did I? I don't know if I mentioned in my last video. We are potty training. Um, it, today is day ten, and I think he's had an he's been accident free minus today. There was a really random accident today, um, but he's been accident free for like eight of those ten days. So he basically potty trained himself in like two days, or we potty trained him. Um, but he picked it up really easily. So I just want to make sure like before I send him to daycare gym he's like good to go um so I'm gonna do that soon I think that's it I don't know let me know in the comments below if I have missed anything or if you have any questions thank you guys so much for watching be sure to um like I said subscribe and turn on the notifications and be on the lookout for our, uh, my week seven pregnancy vlog coming up here soon I'm a little bit late on week six here um I think that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.